from the Ayurvedic medicine we know whatever you can digest is your medicine whatever you can't digest will be your poison so practically speaking whatever we eat if we can digest this it will nourish us it will give us more life energy in form of prana if we can't digest it will be poison in form of ama ama is the metabolic waste in our system brings us fatigue joint pain acne skin disorders some rashes nausea diarrhea constipation bloating and gas all kinds of infections cold coughs fever especially now in winter time if you have too much ama in our joints we get sick very easily that was so important for example to drink not cold stuff drink hot water it will clean the body it will purify the ama have a healthy diet follow your doshas kapha pitta and vata dosha work out your body do yoga pranayama meditation use ayurvedic herbs but that all leads back to a good digestion if your digestion is good your metabolism is great then automatically whatever you eat you will get nourished from it when i started my yoga journey it was because i had a bad digestion no matter what i eat still now i immediately bloat i gain weight in the face in the belly even though i don't eat so much but my body type is so heavy kapha mucusy i create lots of ama in my system very quickly so for me it's even more important to have a good digestion So that's why I started with yoga, so that I can eat more, so that I can enjoy more. That's not the goal of yoga. The goal of yoga is to get a peace of mind and to focus your being on God. But there's so many health benefits to yoga. Like in the practice of pranayama, I want to talk today. We can use the air, the pranic energy, to fan the fire of digestion. They said a yogi only eats half of what he usually wants to eat. The stomach is very small. Half will be food. One quarter will be water. One quarter will be air. So in order to digest your food properly, you need to leave space. As soon as you overeat, prana in form of samana vayu can't digest this food. So never overeat. Always leave a little bit space. that's the secret to a healthy digestion i mean come on the stomach is so small and sometimes we eat that much you know how does it fit in of course you can't digest you get problems but there are certain pranayamas allowing you to increase the metabolism the fire of digestion so that even if you eat more that you can digest the food better and properly the first technique is an ayurvedic practice you inhale and then one arm touches your shoulder the other arm on the back of your spine and come into a twist and then you hold the breath for 10 seconds after 10 seconds you release inhale and then the other side come into a nice twist If you hold it too long or if you're not used to the practice maybe you get a little bit dizzy so when you feel like dizziness just stop come back to your natural breathing pattern otherwise you might faint this technique will massage your inner organs it's easy to massage outside but inside we need also a massage it's good for the kidney for the liver so you come into the twist you hold the breath and doing the breath hold the organs will be massaged nicely then we're going to do kapalabhati active exhalation passive inhalation you focus only on the belly area the rest of the body is relaxed it's the shining skull breath you focus on the inner eye and on the belly and you pump the energy in you can also place one thumb on the small finger fold here you close like this it's a mudra it activates agni the fire inside so it will also improve your digestion you place them on your knees 
and you breathe only for the belly, couple body. Active exhale, inhalation is automatically. You can do it slow. little bit faster, very fast, start very slow and then gradually after a few days you increase, you increase and during the practice focus on the belly, you can do 3 rounds with 30 to 50 breaths, later you can do 100, 200 breaths, just see don't run out. When you run out of breath, you get shortness of breath, you stop. Don't breathe and continue. No, you stop. It's not about a number. It's about efficiency. Focus on the belly. Contract the muscles. This will increase the fire. In cold winter days, practice couple body. Before you eat, practice couple body. Don't practice all these techniques after you eat. I will give you a special practice after your meal, but the more energizing and active pranayamas only practice before. The second one is a more advanced version, similar to Kapalbhati, it's called Bastriga, the bellows breath. We create the sound of a bellows. So we active inhale, we active exhale through the belly. Two seconds in, two seconds out, or one second in, one second out, or maybe even faster. Kapalbhati was active exhale. The inhalation follows automatically. Now you focus on the exhalation and the inhalation. And you create the sound like a bellow. This is the real breath of fire. Some say couple body is the breath of fire, but Bastrika, this is the real breath of fire. A very great technique if you want to improve your digestion, your overall health, you will burn excess fat, you will work out your abdominal muscular area, just perfect to improve your digestion. Then what also is very nice is Agni Sara. So you exhale fully and then you come forward a bit, you lean on your knees with your hands, you can stand up as well or sit and then you pump your belly like in and out like the waves of the ocean. You hold the breath, you can also move it sideways. Just play with it. This is a very good one, especially before eating. Try this out for a couple of days and you will see Immediately the results. You inhale to the mouth or to the nose. Exhalation. Get all the gas out. And then you pump. And move the belly. It's like a full belly workout. Okay, this was more the activating pranayamas. Then you can also do Mula Bandha. This you can do before eating, after eating, also doing your meal. You can activate Mula Bandha. You squeeze the perineum, the point between the anus and the genitals. Squeeze, release. Or inhale, hold the breath. Or exhale. Or doing talking, you just squeeze and hold. Or you squeeze and release. Even doing eating, you can just pump. This will also activate the lower chakras. The energy around this area will activate Agni so you can digest your food properly. Try it out, it's an amazing technique, you can do anytime, anywhere. Then sue your better, the sun energy, we inhale through the right nostril, exhale through the left, inhale through the right, exhale through the left. For around 10 breaths, you can also do before or after your meal, inhale, close, you can combine it with Mula Bandha, Squeeze the perineum, exhale.
Das ist Surya, das ist Chandra, the Sun and the Moon. Heating, cooling, also activates the solar plexus, will give you more energy, more focus, more drive to do something in life. A very great technique. And then, after your meal, you can, you can do Kaki Mutra Pranayama. You inhale through the nose and tighten your lips like you would drink from a straw. This is very calming for the body, for the mind, but also for all the organs. It will calm down your digestion. It will not increase acne, but it will create space and calmness so that the organs can be relaxed and you can digest properly. It's good for the intestines, the respiratory system. And when you breathe after you eat like this, you will feel like gas coming, you burp maybe. You can feel the the, the stomach is working, the chest, the fire is active. Okay, this was now maybe seven or eight techniques. You can practice only one of them. You can practice all of them. You can combine it with your yoga, meditation, pranayama routine. You can do it in the morning when you wake up. Some you can do in the evening. And practice one or two of them before you eat today. Try it out. You will see immediately result. Especially you come into the twist. You hold the breath, I just burped. Immediately I can feel at the chest coming to the twist on each side five times. Then you do some couple body, one or two or three rounds, maybe some suya beda. Then you eat and then after eating practice kaki mudra. And I promise you today you will digest your food better. There's no question, only if you eat three times as much as you should, then nothing can help you. So if you wanna be healthy, if you wanna be full of energy, full of life, then take care of your digestion and don't waste your time, your money and your energy on all kinds of medications. Focus on your digestion with the practice of yoga and minimize the intake of all the pills from the pharmaceutical industry. And then you will be healthy and happy. I hope this could help. I wish you a wonderful, digestive, blissful day. Enjoy your meal and digest it afterwards. Namaste.